Hello, welcome. Today we're going to uh, practice drawing uh, using the measurements for lettering in a one point perspective. Uh, first of all, I want to remind you of the work that I've done, the other videos that I've done. My purpose is to teach it as a lesson for those of us that want to learn how to draw, how to do lettering, how to do portraits, landscapes, anything that you would like. We The first video we had was the one point perspective. These boxes represent uh, objects. Uh, could be, this would be the bird's eye level, eye level, and worm's eye level. So this would be your horizon line, and depending on where you're standing, that would be your view of the object. These squares, these boxes, represent objects, people, cars, depending on the position and where you're standing at. So this was the first one. Uh, again, I was a teacher, and these are some of the things that we learned first. Then we had the two-point perspective. And the purpose of this is so that our brain can start uh, understanding the concept of proportions, positioning, now we go into the abstract, impressionistic, uh, cubism, and others. Well, we first need to learn the, the foundation of things. That's my feeling. So that we can experiment. So here's a two point. Here we then we did a basic uh, color scale. Our primaries and secondary colors with the uh, tints, highlights, and intensities and in between scales. There's a lot more. But for us, this is pretty good for now. And um, then we did a little, just practice on the values. There's another exercise on values to practice. These are videos that you can look for. Then we did the, uh, the lettering. And the reason that I like to do lettering is because this can be objects, can be buildings, people, cars, again, like I said a while ago. And we get a feeling of how things are. Right now we're using the vanishing point at the left bottom corner. This point can be anywhere. And you can have more than one point perspective in your drawing. Here's the letter B. And also I'm trying to use color schemes. Okay, uh, going back to the color scale. Here's the letter C. Here's the letter D. Again, these are videos that you can look for and, and uh, practice. The nice thing about videos is that we can always um, fast forward, stop, you know, and, and uh, learn and remember and change things depending on what you want. Here's the, another one. Did one for Valentine's using uh, calligraphy and color schemes, cools and warms. Then we did some grid drawing where we take the measurement. Again, this is for um, practicing purposes. Where you take your object and this helps, this technique helps the individuals that are just learning. Here's the actual size of it and then double the size. It's kind of a projector effect where you can enlarge it so that you can get um, better proportions and as you get and as you practice more and more you eventually don't need any of this now the reason that I know this is because in my experience teaching 30 years at high school and then teaching um, six and a half years at sixth grade uh, the kids start getting the idea of what to do and eventually they don't need the grid technique they can do it on their own it's amazing what the brain is capable of doing after we uh, exercise and we practice and we start learning the concept okay so those are some of the videos that you uh, are welcome to review today we're going to draw the letter G the letter G and I started the uh, diagram I use centimeters, but you may use any measurement that you like after you have started uh, getting experience. And you can change your vanishing points and so on. 
So right now I have the um, measurement at 10 centimeters from the from the edge of the paper, and then uh, that's going to be the uh, beginning of my box for my lettering. We're going to use six. Uh, we're going to use six centimeters uh, wide. Now I'm going to draw my lines a little darker. I'm going to draw my lines lines darker on the uh, paper uh, on this side of the camera so that you guys can see it. Okay. So we're going to draw. A, we're not going to draw. We're going to measure a six by six rectangle. Six by six rectangle. Now the rectangle you can set it anywhere you want. Mine I just went ahead and went 10 centimeters from here and um, six centimeters from the top. Once I set up the measurements uh, I will speed up the uh, the drawings I'm gonna add for G we're gonna add a giraffe cartoon giraffe and a gorilla and just for the fun of it and we're going to go uh, one centimeter all the way across until we divide it into six centimeter sections so now I might be calling out lines but they're not lines they're line segments so we're going to draw our line segments from top to bottom I'm going to set it all up first and then we will speed up the uh, time so that those of us um, that are interested can go ahead and practice with me okay I challenge you anyone can do this if my sixth graders uh, can do it you can do it now naturally I have to teach them the the measurements like anything else uh, they learn it and then by the end of the school year we're doing very good and the reason I use the uh, centimeters is because they're more even numbers okay. where we have more even uh, measurements than using the inches which would go into halves, eights, sixteens, thirty seconds and so on and with the metric system we just work the centimeters and the millimeters and decimeters and so on so here we have our frame for our letter G our letter G is a simple black letter so we're going to outline the letter G and for you to follow just get a ruler get a ruler I challenge you to to try you know it's always nice to practice our brain and I have I have two rulers you know one uh, a 12 inch ruler uh, in centimeter wise is 30 centimeters and then I have the uh, 15 centimeter when you get your ruler just make sure that your measurement starts uh, or you get the measurement at the right place because this one starts inside the ruler now this other small one here is uh, almost at the beginning so just make sure that you get the right measurements now remember that you can go ahead and um, use any measurement you want so this is going to be the letter G so very simple black letter we're gonna frame it out first the letter G so we have the vertical center you know what I did one more measurement that I needed so it's one two three four five six no that's right okay and then uh, bottom Okay, verticals. Oh yeah, we only need a five. I got excited. I got excited. So we only need five centimeters. Not six. Five. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. Five. And the reason that I'm keeping it at five is so that we can have a five by five so remember it's five by five it can be any size really but just to keep it simple for those of us that are just learning so we're going to have the verticals side middle 
side, horizontals, top, bottom, and middle. There you go. And um, I try to keep it simple in the classroom so that students that have trouble with measurements or they don't understand it because they haven't done it before. So here's a letter G. We're going to use a center. We're going to go in. Then we're going to come down. And here's our letter G. Now I'm going to outline it with the marker. And what I like to do is I like to set up my corners. Make a little dot in every corner so that I don't forget. Now, as total years of teaching were, uh, for me were 44 years of teaching, so I'm an old art teacher. So now, all of this here that I also taught my kids when I was teaching, you can apply it to any of your computer programs. And in reality, the more you know about this manually, the better you will become at your computer programs. Because in the computer programs, all you need to do is learn the um, commands. I, I'm not much on terminology with computers because as I said, I'm an old guy. I'm in the uh, grandfather art teacher. And um, I'm not very good at terminology with computers, technology. Once we outline with our marker, we can erase our lines, okay? So now, I'm gonna erase all these lines that we don't need anymore. And again, you can, uh, with following me, you can use just a regular ruler and pencil. Now, according to Google, about 70% of the viewings are done on cell phones. But again, give me a chance because Google, uh, YouTube counts on subscriptions, likes, and comments. So I would really pr uh, appreciate if you support me. If you learn something, you know, I would appreciate it um, so that I can keep on uh, providing more films. I would all. I will also. I will also be uh, doing uh, other artworks besides doing measurements. And just stay up, subscribe, so you can and, and hit the bell so that you can um, keep track of the videos that I do. I'm gonna do a, uh, a watercolor after I get this one here. Okay, we're looking at our vanishing point. Again, I said at the beginning, it's going to be on the bottom corner of our paper. I'm going to take every corner of my letter that goes to the vanishing point and draw a line. Now, I'm drawing a little darker for you guys to see it on the screen. Don't draw lines from any corner that's inside because our letters are solid. So I look like a radar, I look around, and you, this is one way, so I wouldn't do that because inside, I go to the next corner up on the top, no, I wouldn't do that, it's inside, I go to the next one, and here we go, here's one. Then I go to the next one, I go to this one, so you just look and see, you start, you stop, you start, you stop, here corner, to vanishing point, hit something stop right there okay so I think we got all the corners very simple let me check one more time that I did this right yes yes okay so now we're going to give this letter depth because right now our our uh, subject matter it's it's a plane it's just a square rectangle it's a, a, a five by five and we're gonna give it depth like for example this mouse here we're looking at <coughs> excuse me <coughs> from the top but we're gonna see how wide it goes back so on this one here I'm gonna go you can use any any measurement you want 
I'm going to use two centimeters from the edge out this way. Two centimeters, two centimeters. We have to have two centimeter, two dots, because we don't have a T-square. So now I line up my two dots, line up from the top down, and then visually, because I don't have a T-square again, I'm going to take this corner, which is this one, and it goes to the right side. So I follow that and I'm parallel. I try to be as parallel as possible. So now, since this is a clear ruler, I can get an idea as to where my lines are parallel. That's pretty good there. Now I draw my line and there you go. So now I've drawn this line here, which is this one. We can erase this ones here to the vanishing point. You can leave them for your design, depending on what you're trying to accomplish. Now, what would have happened had I done my measurements two centimeters down from the bottom? Okay, it changes the visual percep perception of it. You see, it changes some. And when you would draw this line now, this one would be a little higher up to the further in. But you can do that. But if you do it with one and you have a phrase or a word or a name or something with letters, more than one letter, try to keep it consistent. So now we're going to go ahead and outline the edge, the depth, and I didn't draw dots on the corners because I don't have a lot of corners to worry about. And you try to be as clean as possible for this sign. And again, it's it's it gets easier and simpler as I do more of it. So now let's do the uh, vanishing lines inside here. All I have to do is like I said, I'm a pretty old guy and uh, when we used to do this, we used to use Indian ink with quill pens. Then we had repeater graph pens and now we have markers. So things have gone super easy. Just like the cell phones. We didn't have cell phones. We had phones that were on the walls or tables. So now there's our G. From here on, I'm going to go ahead and start drawing my uh, characters. I'm going to start drawing my characters. I'm going to draw a gorilla and a giraffe for G. Okay, so uh, then I'm going to I'm going to speed up the, the timing, the time lapse, and so we're going to go ahead and sketch in my drawings, and you will not hear me, but so far again I remind you to subscribe, like, comment, share. Share the uh, video, please. I need your help. The more we have of this, the more the, the system in YouTube will push the uh, drawings. And again, I could just sit here and draw it without showing you or trying for you to learn. But that's not the idea. I want you to learn. I want you to practice yourself. So from here on, I'm going to draw first the giraffe uh, or the gorilla. Let's see what works out fast, uh, quicker and better. And then we're going to color them. I'm going to color them. Okay. So I think I'll draw the gorilla first. So from here on, I'm just going to be drawing and then I'll be coloring and I will be reminding you to please subscribe and uh, like, comment, and share. Thank you.